Welcome to Social Media Month Columbus. I'm Barry Chandler, founder of Chandler Interactive. One of the biggest fallacies surrounding social media at the moment, in our opinion, is that social media isn't measurable. That you can't get a return on your investment and if you do, it's really hard to gauge whether it came from social media or came from one of your other marketing or advertising channels. In order to measure your effectiveness on social media and see what kind of return you're getting on both your time and your financial investment, it's really important to put in place a system, a strategy behind your social media. And Social Media Month Columbus is all about putting a system and a strategy behind what you do so that it's easy to measure, it's easy to manage, and it's easy to understand very quickly what's working for you in order for you to replicate it and what's not working for you so that you can make changes. We came up with a four-step process very early on in our company to determine how to get results for a client, how to develop a social media strategy, and how to show them really clearly the measurable return on their time and financial investment. Over the course of the coming few weeks, throughout Social Media Month, we're going to be talking with other local businesses in Columbus. We're going to be having other uh, social media uh, business people and experts in the Columbus area come in and talk about social media from their perspective. And we're going to be bringing you some tutorial videos on the how-tos regarding strategy and systems behind your social media. The four-step system, which I uh, run through in our introduction video for Social Media Month, is really, really simple. And it all starts with setting a goal. How else could we ever manage to see if we're getting a return on something if we've never identified what we want to achieve? So that's one of the main reasons why people say there's no return on social media. Well, you're not measuring anything to get a return. So the first thing to do is to set a goal for your social media efforts. What is it that you, as a business owner, are trying to achieve? Businesses can set a goal that uh, aligns their marketing efforts with their social media efforts. Maybe their goal that they set up is a certain revenue increase that's attributed to social media efforts. Maybe it's that there's a reduction in the amount of telephone calls or telephone queries that are needed to be handled on a daily basis. Maybe social media is being used to help draw attention to a new item that's being sold by the business. Maybe it's to kickstart sales. Maybe it's to start a marketing campaign around a product that generates buzz and excitement. For whatever reason that you think you want to get in on social media, the first thing you've got to do is write that down. Write down the goal. So today's task for you is to sit down, have a look at your business, have a look at what you're doing currently in social media, and identify what do you want to get out of this. Now, what do you want to get out of this maybe isn't an ideal goal for social media. So some of these things aren't always compatible. The, the, some of the business goals that you have, some, some aspects of social media may or may not help with you. And what we want to do in this video is show you how to set up a goal for your business. So first thing is, what is it you're trying to achieve? Some of our clients have had very clear goals on what they want to achieve. And we've helped refine those goals with them. For example, a new business opening, wanting to notify customers within a five mile area of the business opening, pre-register their email address so they can be notified in advance of the opening and offer them a coupon or a reward to come in on opening week and buy things from the store. Very clear goal, very measurable, very achievable. Other goals have been to increase the number of people talking about a business online. Double the amount of online conversations about a brand, about a business. That's a clear goal, it's easy to measure. Other goals that we've had with, with our clients have been reduce traditional advertising costs by a certain dollar figure. So let's say you're spending money on traditional advertising right now and you don't know if you're getting a return or not. Why not try social media as an alternative or maybe as a supplement to your marketing and try and reduce your traditional marketing spend. For example, if you wanted to reduce your traditional monthly advertising spend by $2,000, there are ways using social media that you may be able to achieve that. You can build an audience around your brand using social media, using Facebook and Twitter, a community large enough that you can continue to have a conversation with and get a better return or a similar return that you were by spending $2,000 a month. So there are very easy ways to measure what you do. You just have to first identify yourself what it is that you want to achieve out of it. So first you've got your goal. You've got your business. You know what it is you want to achieve. Who are your customers? It's really important to understand the exact customer demographic that you have. 
because all of your marketing and all of your Facebook communication, your Twitter communication, the platforms you use will depend on who your customers are. For example, do you know how old they are? Do you know where they live? Do you know their average income? Build up a customer profile that you should be able to write in the back of a napkin. If you can't write your customer profile down, it's going to be very difficult for you to target them specifically and talk with them in a tone and a manner that really resonates with them. Your customers aren't everybody who wants to buy from you. That's not a valid answer when you ask who your customers are. You should have a very clear understanding of who they are. The reason that some traditional advertising channels aren't delivering the return on investment for businesses is that very often these media target a very broad spectrum of the population. Such a broad spectrum that it needs to reach an enormous amount of people for you to get your tiny little return. Social media is allowing you to be much more targeted. But in order for you to be targeted and for the rest of these videos to work for you over the course of the coming weeks, you've got to start by knowing who your customers are. The next thing you've got to bear in mind is, is it measurable and is it achievable? So some of the examples I gave previously on reducing an advertising spend, reducing the amount of physical queries that come in through telephone or in person, they're measurable and they're achievable. Is your goal measurable and is it achievable? If we do really want to go down that road of getting a return on investment and able to measure what we do, we need to know how we put in place methods to measure this. So if we're building up a community online of Facebook fans and on Twitter we've got a lot of followers and we want them to do something, maybe it's that, let's take an example, a doctor has just opened a practice downtown Columbus and he's trying to reach people in the area. Maybe his social media campaign is using face, a mixture of Facebook ads and community management to target local residents in the downtown area and notify them that there is a new doctor in the area taking new patients. Maybe there's an offer to come in for your first, for your first visit. Maybe there's uh, something additional, a value-added uh, offering that helps bring people in the door. Now, maybe a doctor isn't a great example when very hard to get into a new doctor in any case. They're rarely looking for a whole lot of new business. However, it's an example to show you that if it's something measurable, something achievable, you're going to need to in incorporate into your strategy something that can be measured. Bars and restaurants, it's very easy to offer coupons and, and bounce back rewards for somebody to come in within seven days. Retail stores, exactly the same. Maybe your business has a secret word that you, you broadcast on Facebook and Twitter that allows customers to come to your website, put in this code and check out for a discount because they're a social media customer. There's a whole host of ways to measure it. In fact, we've got clients who have incorporated their social media into their point of sale system so that every time there's a sale, they're able to track it back through social media. So there's any number of ways to measure it, but you've got to work out for yourself, is that goal measurable and is it achievable? Telling me that you want to increase revenue in your business by 100% in the next month just through social media is maybe not achievable. So anybody you work with, whether you do this yourself or you work with a, a, a social media company or a, a marketing company or a PR company, whoever it is, they should be able to tell you if it's achievable. They shouldn't promise you the earth. They shouldn't say it's absolutely everything's achievable. No, many things aren't achievable. So it should be a very staged process and a very managed process. Now what happens if, if it all goes to plan? What happens if you've set your goal, you know exactly what you, what you want to achieve, and based on that you know what platforms you want to use, you know how to speak to your customers because you know exactly who they are, you know the content you need to be pushing out to them on a weekly basis. And what if all that turns in to the success you wanted it to be in the first place? Can you handle that? We recently worked with a client where we built up a social media campaign surrounding the opening of their new bar. And in advance, in a, for a four week period leading up to this, we targeted local residents within, a, within the zip code of the bar. And any time they logged into Facebook, they saw an ad on the right-hand side of their Facebook page offering them a coupon and a reward and incentive to come in week one to try out the new bar. Within about 14 days, the bar's Facebook page was receiving between 20 and 25 inquiries and messages a day. Now, can you handle that? Is there somebody in your staff who can do it? Or is it now worth considering outsourcing some aspect of that? So, bear in mind that if all goes to plan, this could really work you need to be able to handle it. The last thing you want to do is to let it all drop at the last minute just when somebody's about to make their purchase or when you've warmed them up enough to come into the business and spend their money. Can you handle that inquiry? So this video is a short overview of, the, of laying the foundation. If there's one thing you take away from this is that you need to set a goal and you need to know what you want to get out of social media. This will not happen overnight, but it should be measurable on a weekly and a monthly basis. So we're not looking for you to do this indefinitely, but we are looking for you to put in enough time 
an effort and sometimes maybe an ad spend in there as well with Facebook to make this work for you. So certainly a week, a month, two months, three months down the road, then you can see how successful this is for you. But it's measurable as you go and you can change it as you go. So the one thing you're going to do after today's video is set that goal for your business. And as you watch the videos that come out over the next few weeks, you're going to be able to tie it all back to this initial goal. So remember our four step process is setting a goal, creating the right platforms uh, that go with achieving that goal, bearing in mind who our target audience are and what we want to achieve. Step three of that is a viral and engaging content strategy that engages our customers and gets them to converse, talk with us, share our content. And the fourth step is measurement and refinement. So when we keep repeating this process again and again, we're going to see a return and we're going to know whether we want to change our process or whether we want to duplicate our process. So set your goal today, come back tomorrow and watch the next video in our series for Social Media Month Columbus. I'm Barry Chandler.